Hey guys, here's my 2001 Honda CRV. We're going to go over why the check engine light is flashing and getting codes 1399 or the PO 300 codes. Um, the culprit is this right here. This is a burnt valve, if it'll focus. You kind of get the idea there. Um, and today we're going to go over how to save money. Basically, we're just going to replace the one valve and hand lap it in with some valve grinding compound. These things will actually run pretty good on three cylinders. Like it'll accelerate just fine in the higher RPM. Um, now you could hardly tell that it's misfiring besides the check engine light. And um, at idle, it'll just rumble around and you'll definitely be feeling it. Um, so basically how we're gonna determine that we have a leaking valve or a burnt valve is we're gonna do a compression test, which there's plenty of videos on YouTube to learn how to do a compression test, but just get yourself one of these guys from the auto parts store. Um, and in this, this case, we had 160, 160, 160, and 25. So basically, the, when you don't do your valve lash, which is, again, there's a lot of videos on valve lash, and this is a, um, gonna be more about what to do when you ignore your valve lash and you have this issue. So all the compression basically is slipping past this hole in the valve and um, that hole is just not firing. This is a, a used valve just out of a different P75 cylinder head I had. Um, I was actually hand lapping this one in, but it was pretty pitted. That valve is no good. It's going to cause cause a problem. So I had this other valve that I've hand lapped in here and there's no pitting. It's nice and smooth and it's good to go. So as far as hand lapping it in, put the valve compound, dap it around the valve, put it in the hole in the valve guide. And then you grab this uh, valve grinding tool and you just kind of spin it around, you know, doesn't take, take a whole lot of force. And the sound from the grit in here, as you grind it down, it'll go from like a really loud grinding sound to like eventually the, the noise like quiets down and you can tell like it's nice and smooth and whatnot. So eventually you'll get a nice, nice sealing surface on both the valve and the seat. That's essentially it. Um, as far as handling the, the valve springs and whatnot. You definitely want this specialty B18, B20, non-VTEC um, tool. It's 85 bucks on Amazon. Saves you a ton of time. It just kind of bolts bolts in here and you know compresses the spring. You, and then you can deal with the keepers and the retainer. It's nice and easy. So now, while I'm in here, I'm gonna change the valve seals just because the cylinder head's off and it's a good time to do that. Um, and basically, once you lap in the new valve, and you change the seals if you want to. It's time to just reassemble and then and then you're done. I know this might seem like an intimidating job, like big, big giant job. It's really not. There's head to ask video replacements on YouTube you can watch just for an in-depth um, example. Um, but basically you just, you take the header off. I just have it kind of resting, well, not resting on a jack stand, but kind of just hanging, hanging out. Um, and then instead of fighting with these coolant lines, like, you know, reaching your arm underneath the intake manifold and whatnot and, um, you know, hurting yourself and straining your back and just getting pissed off. Um, just take the two 12s out of the uh, IAC valve and just, you know, then the intake manifold can stay on the head and then you just lift the head after you take a few hoses off, um, you know, to lift off the head, you just lefty loosey all these, all these parts out of here. Um, this is the head gasket kit that I got. Uh, it's $105 on Amazon. I bought it used, which just meant like somebody bought it and then returned it. I was expecting like it was going to be missing like half the stuff, but it actually has everything in here. Um, I bought it for $25. So all in all, this is $85. Let's just go ahead and assume, you know, the head gasket kit 
the Felpro head gasket kit is going to be a hundred bucks. Then these valve seals, uh, super tech valve seals. You don't need to, you actually don't need to buy these. They come in the kit, but I just prefer to run super tech valve seals. Um, so a hundred bucks, 85 bucks. Uh, you got to buy this valve grinding compound. That's with this, uh, valve lapping tool. That's like maybe $10 in total. So, you know, for less than $300, um, you know, let's say like you want to buy a, a timing belt too, cause it's a good time to change the timing belt. Cause it's got to come off. Um, you know, that's timing belt kit is maybe a hundred bucks. So, you know, let's just call it about $350. And, you know, in about a day or two for somebody, even, even if it's your first time working on any of these, like, the, like these are so easy to work on. This engine here is actually a JDM B20B. I got it with approximately 70, 80,000 miles. And I just kind of assumed that, you know, the Japanese guy from however many years ago when he was driving this car, you know, was keep, keeping up with his valve lash and he was not. And that's my fault for, for not checking the valve lash after I bought it. I just tossed it in. And then, um, I've actually driven about, uh, 50,000 miles in the last year and a half or two. And that's all it really took. Um, I was noticing a misfire, uh, at idle for a while. And I just assumed that it was the injectors kind of being old and clogged up, but that wasn't the case. Um, and then I finally just checked the compression so if you're here just watching this for fun and you don't actually have this issue going on, check your valve lash. You very much, very much need to. You just need little feeler gauges. Like I said, watch a video. Super easy. And it'll save you a whole lot of headache. Um, so yeah, that's just that's just my fair warning. Check your valve lash. Every every 30,000 miles is, is how Honda says how often to do it. Um, and they're not messing around when they say that. Because I have... Right now I have two other CRVs besides this one and I picked them up both because, you know, they're misfiring and people sell them cheap. And, um, basically like, you know, this is kind of just a PSA for, cause it's just so common on these CRVs and I want to save you guys some money and not have to sell your car or not have to shell out two, three grand. Um, you know, real easy. 